Miss Gabbard, what's going on? I'm depressed. Why? My students, they don't know commas. They're eating their grandmas. No. And they're making lists without commas, and I just don't know what to do. We can't have that. No. What are we going to do? We're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. You'll we'll make your comma video. You will? Yes. For us? Yes. The whole class? Yes. Awesome. Oh. Broccoli, spaghetti, chicken pot pie, and soup. That's a long list. That's so many commas. <laughs> yep, and don't forget the comma before and. I'm gonna go swimming! I forgot my swimsuit! I'm gonna go swimming, but... I forgot my swimsuit! Commas are very useful for combining two sentences. For example, put your two, one simple sentence here, then a comma, then use one of these words, and then your other simple sentence here. For example, I'm going to the beach, comma, but it's raining. What's up, Grandma? Let's no eat Grandma. Bye, Yum. How Not dare you say you eat me? No I'm your grandma. grandma. What about this? What Let's eat, you Grandma. Remember. What do you want for dinner? Nothing. When addressing a person in a dialogue, use a comma so you don't accidentally eat your grandma. Why? Commas appear after the greeting and the closing of a letter. Remember that when you see a comma, your voice goes up. Listen where the commas are in this example. For example, Dear Mom, can you send me some cash? I'm stuck in the desert. Plus, I got robbed by a robber from your son. Thank you. Thank you. 